In this video, we're going to discuss some of the ways that the Buchla Music Eagles arpeggiator works, specifically in regards to the way that the pulsar reacts to the arpeggiator when set to keyboard mode. This was something that I didn't uh, understand uh, until just recently and learned a little trick to actually get the pulsar to work uh, in the way that I and probably others think that it should work uh, when using the arpeggiator. So first, um, we'll show, for anyone that doesn't know anything about the arpeggiator, we have the option of uh, none, which gives us, uh, you know, that's just the regular keyboard, it just gives us single notes. And then we have the option of random, which allows us to randomly go through notes uh, as we press down a chord. We have ascending, which takes us uh, ascending through whatever keys uh, from left to right on the keyboard that we're holding down. So now in this case, we're using the envelope generator. We see the envelope generator is set to keyboard. case we have the pulsar off, but we'll set it to triggered, and I'm going to go ahead and move this so that our gate is being triggered by the pulsar. Now you would expect the pulsar to pulse just like the envelope generator would, but what happens when we uh, hold down a chord is this. There's really no end to each note. It's almost just like if we were to bring up the main slider and play something here. It sounds exactly the same, actually. And something to notice is notice how the envelope generator is triggering with each note, but the pulsar is actually staying high. It doesn't go off until we release our chord. I'll go back to actually triggering the gate with the pulsar. So what we can do here, or I should explain why this is happening, uh, the information that I just recently learned, um, thanks to the Muff Wiggler user Drillionaire, uh, who has been very helpful in answering all of my questions. Um, but this was something that I found on the forum, he was explaining to another user, uh, explaining this exact kind of quirk. Uh, so what is happening? The reason that you are seeing, I turned off the audio here um, just so we can discuss, but you'll see that I'm holding down a chord and we're getting the pulses from the envelope, but we still have a gate high in the pulser. And what is happening here is the pulser, uh, when it sends a pulse, is sending a 10 volt pulse. It lasts for, I think, four milliseconds, something like that, and has a decay uh, where it drops down to five volts. So what's happening when you're using the arpeggiator is that that five note sustain or that five note high gate is staying constant. Each note is then getting a very short four millisecond 10 volt pulse as each successive note goes through, but there's still that constant five notes. So the pulse essentially is always on. So we'll see that here, and I'll bring the audio back up. It just stays high. So a way to get around that, which uh, once again, thank you to Drillionaire for explaining this, is if we set the pulser to sequencer, and we now set the sequencer to keyboard, actually get what you would logically think the pulsar would do for the arpeggiator. Now it's receiving its gates from the actual pulse sequencer, which I described in another video. So in this case, we can actually even then start to turn off stages. Now, 
it just receives its uh, 10 volt pulse uh, for each successive note and it doesn't keep that 5 volt gate high. So we'll go ahead and replicate that issue again just to review one more time. Set this to off. We'll set our pulser to keyboard and we will play. Remember, we just have the single pulser firing to uh, low pass gate one. Once again, it sounds just like if we were to open the gate, because that five volts is constantly keeping that open. So we'll switch to sequencer, set our sequencer to keyboard, <laughs> turn back all our stages. At this point, we can even have our envelope generator uh, triggered by uh, the pulser or the sequencer now, because really the uh, sequencer is what is driving it. So same functionality here now with the envelope generator in uh, any of these particular settings. But when down in sequencer mode, as described in my last video, we can disable stages and only get fires on the activated stages. And then one more thing to note, um, as when doing a single pulse on the pulser, we get short pulses at the top and a long pulse at the bottom. When in this particular configuration, when the pulser is being driven by the sequencer, um, we can actually get longer um, gates, so you can adjust your gate length um, still. So we've got this going, and I only have one hand here available. I'll have to stop playing, but now we get longer gates. All right, hopefully that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.